Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters. You're welcome to the prophetic one and all. So today, I am your host, Dr. Bang Somale. And this morning, I want to ask you a question from the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? The ifs, the negative thing happening in your life, the circumstances you're into, the storm around, did the Lord command them? Did the Lord say you're going to be barren? Did the Lord say you're going to be single for long? Did the Lord say you're going to be unemployed? Did the Lord say you're going to be sick? Did the Lord say that witches are going to haunt you? The report of the Lord never says so. God never commanded them. So, what I want you to do is to know what the Lord say about you. The Lord say you are healthy. He say you are like a tree planted by the riverside. He said you shall live long. He says you shall not be sick. That there will never be the sick and the sick amongst you. The Lord gives so many good report about you. He says you are going to fulfill your destiny. He says the cattle on a thousand will yours. He says you look hard to the hill from whence you have come and the help is going to come for you. He said you will call his name and he will answer you. He said you will ask for forgiveness and he will answer you. He he said he is going to show mercy to you. So has the Lord commanded everything you're going through that you do not like? So if I were you, I would start uh, attacking them today. Oh Lord, your word never said I was going to be sick. Your word never said that I was going to be poor. Your word never said that this condition is going to hold me this way. Your word never said that Nigeria is going to be this broke. Your word never said my sisters, my father, my brothers are going to suffer. Your word never said that I was going to have an accident. Your word never said that I was going to be naked. Your word never said that I was going to be having sex in the dream. Your word never said that I was going to be eating nonsense in the dream. Your word never said that I was going to be initiated in the witchcraft. So what did the word of the Lord say? You started to watch yourself a proof. No word the Lord say. But I am telling you this day that every negative thing that I have spoken about you by any witch doctor, any wizard, any wicked family member, any household wickedness. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 7 says, says, Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord does not command it? So whosoever speaks negative things in your life, I curse them this morning as a prophet in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever I put in, whosoever I bring in diseases, problems into your life, uh, which doctors, uh, which is wizards, uh, I command that they be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Whosoever I weaken demons, uh, witches, uh, wizards to come to haunt your life, your destiny, cut your life short, plan the accident for you, make you barren, I decree that they be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I send demons packing from your life. I send Send demons packing from your family. I send demons packing from your job. Send demons packing from your marriage. I send demons packing from your family. I send demons packing from everything that has to do about the will of God for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So the word of Allah spoke good things about you, okay? So you need to do what? You need to start the more to know what the Lord has spoken about you. The book of Psalms is perfect for that. I would recommend the book of Psalms. Study the book of Psalms and see the protection the Lord has given to you. The angels he has sent to guide you. The same way the Lord was with David. The same way he was with Daniel. The same way the Lord was with Jesus Christ. He's going to be with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, the world is dark. Yes, we're at a hard time. Yes, we're at a perilous time. But the Lord said he's going to come true for us. He's going to help us. Remember, whatsoever negative thing that you see in your life, the Lord hasn't commanded that, okay? So you start exercising your faith to cast them out because the Lord never commanded that. Say the book of Lamentation chapter 3 verse 17 and the Lord is going to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for all of you with your uh, prayer point, your prayer request, all of you all that I have been praying for uh, for a while now in a week and a month. I decree that let there be speedy, speedy, speedy release of your answers to your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I know you will testify. I know that you will smile. I know that the Lord has opened those doors for you. Go and enjoy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I build an edge around you with the blood of Jesus. You are protected when you 
call you out, you're protected when you come back home. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you richly. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you richly. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree blessings upon you this morning. You shall be known for success alone in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that you are free. 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 free. And let your life be pleased and to the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who want to rededicate their life to Jesus Christ this morning, may the Lord help you through this journey in the mighty name of Jesus. I am saying that for the sake of those who are told that uh, they constantly are in sin. They are born again. They are trying to live sin. I said they should keep rededicating their life to Christ every day and tell the Holy Spirit to come in and walk with them, walk for them, walk through them. When you do this, the Lord is going to quicken your spirit like it did in the book of Romans chapter 8. And guess what? You're going to start to live a sin-free life. When you're living a sin-free life, all the Lord has spoken about you will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And God bless you. Okay? See you tomorrow. See more of you on this channel. God bless you. Invite your friends. Invite your family members to the part of the prophetic one and altar. And the Lord is going to bless you as we meet you. We meet you out of one of your lips with prayer, with counseling. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. I decree that the remaining part of the week is going to be blessed for you in the mighty name of Jesus. This year, there is still hope. You're still going to be favored in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And shalom.